忍びの時代は終わる」Hey, beautiful l o a d y cakes, it's your boy Ambush Whatever here back in our video. And for today, I'll be doing a new part of What If Deku Had All the Bread Styles. But before that, I really hope you enjoy this series. And like I always say, like, comment, subscribe. With that out of the way, let's begin the story. It was a normal day for our main protagonist, Izuku Midoriya. It has been a week since the quirk apprehension test, and he was having a normal high school week. Like your typical school week, like learning, learning English, mathematics, science, and so on. Until he heard rumbling outside his classroom, and eventually a man came through the door. I am here, coming through the door like a normal person. Everybody in class except Izuku, Nezuko, Tanjiro, and Kana were fanboying slash fangirling, to which Suyu said, Hey, look. Isn't that his Silver Age costume? Everybody was excited for All Might's lesson. Then All Might said, Welcome to the most important class that UA High has to, has to offer. Think of it as Heroing 101. Here you will learn the basics of being a pro and what it means to fight for good. Then let's get it to it. Then suddenly at the door, somebody said, Ara ara. Stop it with that, All Might. This is a school for people. To become heroes, we have to be serious. Then, suddenly, then everybody looked who to whom was at the door. Then Ojiro realized who it was and said, Wait, you are. Oh, my apologies. I'm Yuki Tomiyoka, also known as, also known as the Water Hashira. To which Izuku was surprised and thought, So, she must be the great 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 granddaughter of Giyu. It's quite funny to be fair. He is like Giyu and a little bit of Shinobu. I guess they tied the knot, I get. But I'm not sure. Then Izuku said, Miss Yuki, I have a question. Are you related to Giyu Tomoyoka and Shinobu Kojo? To which she just looked at Izuku and said, Yes, I am the great 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 granddaughter of Giyu and Shinobu. So, to which Izuku said, So my assumptions were correct. Correct that you, you are Giyu and Shinobu's great great granddaughter, and that Shinobu and Giyu tied the knot. To which Kana was surprised and thought that, so, Big Sis went for Giyu after all. I still remember the days when they were fighting. <laughs> to which Yuki said, Why do you ask, young man? To which Izuku said to that question, It's nothing, it's just that you guys ha you have Giyu san and Shinobu san's personality. To which she was caught off guard and said, Can I talk to you, young man outside? To which Izuku said, Yeah, sure, but can my friends come along? To which Yuki said, Ara ara. Well, sure. To which Izuku, Nazako, Tanjiro, and Kano followed Yuki outside. Yuki then said, So, how do you know of my lineage? She became serious, having the same atmosphere as Giyu. Izuku said, Well, if I'm being honest, I have met your great 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 grandfather and grandmother before. To which Yuki said, So you were the one that Shinobu was talking about? To which Izuku said, Yep, that's me. <laughs> Yuki then said, Then who are they? Pointing to Nezuko, Tanjiro, and Kano. To which Izuku said, Oh, they are Nezuko Kamado. With, to which Nezuko interrupted Izuku and said, Izu, it's Nezuko Midoriya, remember? <laughs> to which Izuku said, Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I meant to say it was Nezuko Midoriya. Sorry.、Uh, let me rephrase that. They, they are Nezuko Midoriya, Tanjiro Kamado, and Kano Suyuri. 
To which Kano interrupted this time and said, Um, Izuko-san, uh, it's Kano Kamado now. Which, she having a blush on her cheeks. To which Izuko was surprised and said, So, you finally took Tanjiro's last name, huh? <laughs> I'm happy for you. Then he looked at Tanjiro and said, Treat her well, Tanjiro, okay? Tanjiro said, I will. To which Izuku says, eh, Sorry about that, and we are friends of your great 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 grandfather and grandmother. To which Yuki just says, Okay then, that's all I want to, wanted to ask. And also, I want you guys to go to the Hashira meeting after class, okay? To which Izuku, Tanjiro, Kano, and Nezuko said, Sure. Then after that, they went back to the class, to, to the classroom, to hear what All Might was about to say. To which All Might said, "But one of the keys of being a hero is looking good." Then, the wall came out with a bunch of suitcases with numbers corresponding to your, to their seat number. To which All Might continues and says, "So hop to it and suit up, then go to Ground Beta. Time skip." All Might and Yuki was, were waiting for their class. Then they heard footsteps coming from the tunnel. Then they see their students wearing their hero costumes. Then All Might said, They say the clothes make the pros, ladies and gentlemen, and behold, you are the proof. Take this to heart. Now you are all heroes in training. You're getting me all ramped up. You look so cool. Now... Shall we get started, you bunch of newbies? To which Yuki said, uh, Hold on, All Might. We are missing four students. To which All Might said, Oh? Well, who are these students? To which they hear noise from the tunnel. And the noise saying, Sorry for being late. We had to get our gear. Sorry. To which the whole class looks back and sees Tanjiro, Nezuko, and Kanao, and Izuku wearing a demon slayer uniform to which all of the class said whoa you guys look cool with those demon slayer uniforms while looking at their hero costume yuki pointed out saying that so you guys are using your nichiren katanas huh to which izuku says guilty as charged to which all my uh, butted in and said okay then so our training for today is going to be inside a building to which class one class was a little bit confused except for izuku tanjiro nezuko as well as kana as well as zenitsu and inosuke to which ida said um sir why are we going to train indoors? To which Izuku responded, saying, Not all crimes are public, remember. There are back alley deals and kidnappings. Ida. And Ida said, Oh, I see. Sorry for my interruptions. And then Yuki said, Like Midoriya said, This, usual, this is usually where crimes are potent, because crimes... Crimes like Midoriya said, like kidnapping and back alley deals, need to be stopped by us heroes. To which All Might said that, so today, we are going to draw lots, and to which person have, has the same number, they are in the same team. To which, and, and they're going to battle, battle without with another pair. To which Yuki said, except you six pointing to Tanjiro, Kanao, Nezuko, Inosuke, and Zenitsu. Which Yuki continues saying that you guys are going to come with me, and you guys have to split into teams of three to fight each other. Do you understand? To which Izuku said To which Izuku said we should pick lots then see who are the teams will be will be in to which the five agree and the teams are team a being inosuke zenitsu and tanjiro 
the cinnamon the the quote unquote cinnamon roll trio and in team B Izuku, Nezuko and Kano to which after they have their teams Yuki said okay then team A would be the villains and team B would be the heroes does it sound good to you six to which everybody nods their heads and then Yuki continues and said okay then see your positions the six of them went to their positions and start and started planning for their next their next move to which Izuku said to Nezuko Kano and ne- Nezuko and Kano so who's going to be fighting who which Kano volunteers and said I will be fighting uh, Tanjiro for this one to which Nezuko just says um okay then then I will be fighting Zenitsu to which Izuku just says so I'm gonna be fighting Inosuke huh I guess that's gonna be alright mm, the big problem is this beast breathing he has and he's two katanas but I think I can I think I have the perfect bread style to use for him to which Kano and Nezuko were, were confused and says oh then what is it to which Nezu- to which Izuko just says, oh, it's gonna be a surprise. Just watch the replay and you will understand. To which Izuku just said to Nezuko and Kano. To which let's switch our perspective to Nezuko and to not to Nezuko to Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Zenitsu. To which they're planning their their move. They still have the bomb that you know the typical anime. In the typical anime, so they still have that. But the only reason, the only difference is that they have their nurturing katanas, and they have to actually defuse it. True, this essentially the bomb is still light, but they still have to defuse it, and they it's not really a live bomb, but it's uh what 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 can I say it like in um I. I, what's that series? Oh, like in Game Lab, in that one episode that Mad Pat was defusing a bomb. That's essentially it. That kind of bomb that isn't that destructive, but uh, gives you a good scare. To be fair, but yeah, to which they have to you know communicate. To which one of them, to which um, none of them actually know. Including Izuku, okay, and include and including the three, uh, the the other three, Inosuke, Zenitsu, and Tanjiro. They didn't know that it was actually going to quote unquote blow up, but eventually they made a plan that they will be fighting. Uh, uh, Inosuke would be uh, in the chain in here to protect the bomb. Zenitsu and Tanjiro would be roaming the area to scout. To scout out uh, who are going to be in the yeah who are going to be in the halls and yeah to which they will reply to each other using their headpieces to to um, to communicate with each other to to say that where the other person is to which Zenitsu to which uh, Zenitsu was Z- Zenitsu's um, uh, his uh, earpiece was a little bit special because he has, you know, special hearing still. Um, Zenitsu's, uh, Zenit- Zenitsu from Kenetsu no Aiba but transferred, quote unquote, transferred his genes to Zenitsu Jr. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. But, yeah. To which Izuku, Nezuko, Tanjiro, and Izuku, Nezuko, and Kano were ready were readying themselves then Yuki said that hero team you may proceed to which might I remind you guys uh, class 1a is still watching this to which they class 1a are making bets of who is going to win to which they said that uh, the the people that are going to win is the is the Hashiras uh, Kaminari said betting I guess 20 bucks yeah 20 bucks 
then uh, then one of them, let's just say, um, Kirishima just said, no, it, it would be Izuku's team or Midoriya's team, which um, which Kotsky said that that damn Deku, <sighs> he isn't going to win. He's so weak. Which yeah. To which it started and Nezuko, Ta- ne- Nezuko, Kana, and Izuku were walking through the halls until they heard they heard a hissing sound like breathing and says and Izuku says look out which which now they say that to which they dodge luckily to which they found Zenitsu using uh, thun- uh, thunder breathing first form, thunder clap and flash. To which, Zenitsu just ah, oh, you dodged it all. Hmm. Good. Just what I expect from the legendary pillar, and his team. To which, to which Nezuko just says, "I'll be fighting you. I'll be your opponent." To which, Tanjiro just. Tanjiro butts in and says, Kimo Kame Kagura! To which Izuku uses Dancing Slash. To which, luckily, Kano, Kano parried Tanjiro's attack. And he said, Oh, wow. <laughs> nice one, Kano. You blocked my attack. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> to which, uh, Tanjiro gave gave Kano his typical one million watt smile, to which Zenitsu said, "Tanjiro, get serious. Th- this is a fight." To which Tanjiro just says, "Hi." To which Nezuko just says, "Izuku, leave us, leave us be. You have to get the bomb." To which Izuku just says, "All right then." Izuku then says, Beast breathing, seventh form, spatial awareness. To which, to which Izuku just uses his spatial awareness and finds the bomb. To which Izuku manages to go to the bomb in fourth floor with about mm, an hour left. Yes, an hour left because this this is gonna be a long, a long battle, and Yuki knows it that it's going to be a long battle, because when Hashiras fight, they, f- when or when Demon Slayers fight, they fight until their last breath. To which, Izuku finally manages to to go in the, to go in the room, and what he saw is Inosuke. And Inosuke just says, Oh ho ho ho. You're finally here, Izuku. To which Izuku just says, <laughs> Better, well, I got a little bit of help, to be fair. To which Izuku just said to Inosuke, To which Inosuke just says, You know, I can't let you grab this bomb, right? To which Izuku just says, I know. So, how about it then? Do I have to beat you to get it? To which Inosuke just says, You have to try, I guess. Then, come at me with everything you've got. To which Izuko just says, Okay then, it's time to use... It's time to use it. Music breathing. First form, whistling. Then he heard whistles. And, essentially, what Inosuke hears is this. Whistling, and his Nichirin katana transforms and becomes a flute. And Inosuke just says, A flute? What's that going to do? To which Izuko just says, You would be surprised of what this flute can do. 
twitch while whistling. Inosuke ha- had the urgence to dodge. But l- then he dodged and luckily he did so. Because when he looked back, he saw a slash mark on the on one of the walls and says, Wait. So, it's essentially you're using sound waves as your weapon. To which Izuku just says, Guilty as charged, I guess. But this is only the first form. It's still, I still have a long to go. I'm still making this my own. I'm still making new mo- new forms for this. So, how about it then? Let's begin. To which they rush to each other. Izuku transforming, transforming his uh, ni- his now Nichiren katana flute. To his normal Nichiren katana, and says, "Himokame Kagura," and uses his first form of sun breathing, just like Tanjiro. And Inosuke managed to parry it and said, "And and said that uh, so sun breathing, huh? Very fine indeed. It's a very good technique. <laughs> I this is the very first time that I saw it happen." Or somebody using this technique. Heh. <laughs> I'm honored. Which Izuku just says, Well, I'm honored as well. Don't. So, shall we continue? To which Inosuke just says, Let's do it. To which Izuku just says, To, to which they just fight and fight on, like a, like a heated battle. To which Inosuke just eventually says that, <sighs> I'm gonna go full power now. To which let's switch perspectives to to the observation rooms. To which in the in the observation rooms they heard Inosuke say, "I'm going to go full power now." To which everybody was just shocked. Yuki was very was giggling and says, <laughs> "Inosuke is riled up." <laughs> well. It's time to unleash the beast, like, like they always say. To which Inosuke, his veins popping out of his, his veins popping out of his arms, his, it popping out of his chest, and essentially like his muscles being condensed and stuff. To which, is it, which Inosuke says, "I'm, I'm go, I'm coming at you." To which. To which Izuku luckily dodged and says, Okay then, I guess I'm not holding back as well. <sighs> to which Izuku says, Wind breathing, third form, clean storm, wind tree. To which Izuku unleashed a whirlwind of slashes around his body, actually like defending himself and like making this force field of wind that that are razor sharp to which Inosuke tries to attack and gets hit and gets blown away and actually gets knocked out to which Izuku has 30 minutes left he went to the brawl as fast as he can and touches it but the t- there was no announcement of them winning to which Izuku opened the panel and saw that, wait, so we, so we, we so we really have to defuse this bomb? <sighs> to which Izuku was a little bit sweaty and says, okay, okay, so this is, hmm, okay then. To which he followed the path of the wire, to which, which one was the, was the detonation? To which Izuku managed to find it within, within five minutes left and actually cut it. Diffusing the bomb. To which, to which Yuki just says, "Heroes win. Go get back. Heroes and villains, please go back to go back outside and come to the observation room." Sorry about the pause, but yeah, the event which Izuku just carries Inosuke and says. <sighs> Sorry about that, Inosuke. Wow, whew. that was really strong, man. 
that was really strong. To which, Izuku was walking down, uh, walking down the stairs with Inosuke in his on his back to see Nezuko, Zenitsu, Ta- Tanjiro, and Kano, all covered in scratches and bruises. And Izuku says, "So, you guys went all out as well, huh?" To which Izuku just says, "To which they just says, yeah." <laughs> Well, it's a fight. What what do you expect? It's it, it would be rude if we didn't if we didn't go all out. Which they which Izuku just says true, true. To which Izuku just goes to the observation room. To which while they were going there, Inosuke managed to wake up and says, Ah oh, my my head Ah oh, man that hurts. Damn, Izuku. That was powerful, man. I didn't thought that you were going to use wind breathing on me. Ah, that still hurts, man. Those 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 things were like razors. What the heck? Man. To which Izuku says, "Go, man. Sorry for hurting you that bad." <laughs> to which Inosuke just says, "It's fine. It's a battle, to be fair. It's rude to to hold back. To which Izuku says true. To which way well when they eventually reach the observation room, Bakugo starts to uh rushes at Izuku but Izuku managed to knock him out with his sword at which uh which was uh, his sword um what is it called again? Uh Hitting his nape, not you know, not Titans, not Attack on Titan style. I mean by that is, he used the bl- the parrying part of his Nichiren katana to smack, um, to smack, uh, Bakugo in the in the na- on the nape, and he essentially being knocked out again. To which Yuki just says, "Great work, that was excellent work." Uh, it. Midoriya, to which, to which is to which you all might just ask. So, who do you think is the MVP of this? To which, you know, to which, a lot of them say um, they don't really know. To be fair, all of them contributed in their own specific way, like uh, Inos, like Inosuke trying to protect the bomb. Uh, Tanjiro and Zenitsu trying to distract, trying to distract uh, the the heroes, as well as Kano Nezuko to distract Zenitsu and Tanjiro for Izuku to manage to for them for Izuku to manage to go to Inosuke's hideout or Inosuke's room to find the bomb, to which they just say, to which one of them say mom. One of one of them just say that they all are the MVP. They're they 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 f- they fought like a well-oiled machine. To which All Might just says correct. Because when you're fighting, you you need to remember if you're in a team, you have to resonate with them. Remember that, you you, you bunch of newbies. Remember in the future when you are with someone. You have to resonate with them, meaning you have to, you have to comply with them, even though if you hate that person, you have to comply with them. To which, to which All Might just says, "Well, that's all the time we have. We, we are ending this class now, and, and, and for you guys, I'm really proud of you for be." For you young heroes, I am really proud of you that you ma- that you exceeded my expectations. To which Yuki just says, "That's true. You exceeded mine as well. You guys are top hero material. Be be honored to be the next generation of heroes." To which they just say, "Hi," and we're we're starting to leave. To which Yuki just says, "Tanjiro." Izuku, Nezuko, and and Kanao, 
hold on a minute. You're going to the me- you're going to the Hashira meeting. To which they just says hi. To which they they were walking down the hallway and eventually they see they come across a door that is very Japanese like and when they open it they saw a Japanese theme room and they see the they see a lot of people eleven if I'm if if I am correct. No not eleven. Yeah eleven eleven people to which, to which Yuki just says, Welcome Izuku, Tanjiro, Nezuko, and Kana to the Hashira meeting. And that's it. That's where I'm going to be leaving it off. Sorry guys if it's a cliffhanger and stuff. Sorry and, and I'm really sorry for it being a little bit janked. This, this is actually the first time that I made a script for this. Somewhat. If you noticed in the... In the first uh, 10 minutes, uh, I actually made a script for this, and I uh, I lost, um, essentially when the choreography was starting, I was thinking that I'm going to do it in my mind, and yeah. So I really hope you enjoy, and like I always say, like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>